Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Ray Diaz, one of the TFs for Computer Science E1. Welcome to our video of the week. Today we're going to talk about disinfecting your PC with a nifty little program called AVG Antivirus. As you're probably well aware, there are viruses out there on the net just waiting to infect your system. Um, there are lots of popular antivirus programs uh, from McAfee, from Norton, so on and so forth. We'd like to show you today how to obtain and install AVG antivirus because there's a version of it that's free for, uh, for use. Uh, they do have a, a higher end version, so to speak, that you can pay for. But uh, for those who need uh, some antivirus protection and don't necessarily have or want to shell out um, the uh, dollars for a higher end product, you can certainly use uh, AVG free. So I'm going to go ahead and launch my browser and go to free.grisoft.com. I'm going to click on Downloads, Installation Files and Documentation, and click on AVG Free for Windows, and save that to my desktop. Once it's been downloaded, I'm just going to double click on it to install. And for most users, following the um, uh, installation defaults, essentially just clicking next or OK whenever prompted will work just fine. So I'm going to head, go ahead and do that myself. Once the installation is complete, AVG launches, and then you're prompted to go through several steps in the setup wizard. I'm going to go ahead and click Next, and then I'm going to select the Check for Updates button. Uh, as with any other um, antivirus software out there, AVG manages a set of so-called virus definitions so that it can recognize the patterns that come with viruses, worms, trojans, and so on. I'm going to go ahead and get my download from the internet and then when it tells me there are updates to be had, I'll just go ahead and click the update button and let the program do its thing. Depending on the nature of the update, once it's complete, you may be uh, prompted to restart AVG. You may not. You have the option to enable daily scanning. Basically there are two types, low priority or high priority. And what that means is uh, low priority scan is going to take a longer time to complete, but it uses fewer system resources. A high priority scan is faster, but you may experience some s system slowness while it's running. It's usually a good idea the first time you install this to go ahead and scan your computer. So I'm going to click the Scan Computer button here. And should it find anything suspicious, it'll let me know in the main window. Once the scan is com complete, if nothing uh, untoward has been found, it'll give you some test results. And you can just click past that. You have the option of registering your software. Uh, and that's uh, completely up to you. And essentially, that's it. Um, in the left-hand side here, you have buttons for some of the more common tasks you might want to take advantage of. Uh, you can click on the Control Center and make sure that your antivirus uh, database is up to date. Uh, you can uh, check your scheduled uh, options. 
so on and so forth. One of the nice features is that AVG configures itself to automatically scan uh, email in your default uh, email program. Uh, if a virus has been detected and AVG has had a problem uh, removing it, uh, it will hold it in what it calls the virus vault. Uh, fortunately here we didn't have any viruses on our system, so our virus vault is empty. You can click on help anytime to get more uh, information about uh, running AVG and its options. This is essentially like an online manual. You can edit when daily uh, updates are scheduled, for example. That, in a nutshell, is how to uh, obtain, install, and run AVG antivirus. Uh, once you've gone through the initial setup, you can just close the window, and here in the system tray, AVG will keep on running and protecting your computer. So along with an antivirus program, an anti uh, adware and spyware program and a firewall program, your Windows machine should be pretty well protected. Thanks for watching our video of the week.